Hey everybody, this is Charles Calhoun, aka the Shade Tree Crow. I know I haven't done a, a really good talking video in a while. Been, you know, been busy in the process of writing uh, my book, as I call it, my historical book. Um, wife's had COVID, kids learning how to drive. I mean, it's just been all kinds of different things going on. But I have been busy. But what has Shade Tree been doing? Well, I'm in the process. Uh, one of the biggest things is, is with my golf book, uh, uh, Golf Grip for Success and my golf setup for success, I'm in this thing, I'm, I'm trying to sell 10,000 copies of my book because there's some things that I can show you with that grip book, but I, I need that audience to be able to do that. So, you know, like I said, if you haven't purchased my book, Golf uh, Grip for Success or Golf Setup for Success, you know, to go to amazon.com or go to my, uh, um, um, excuse me, my webpage, shadetreepro.com and get that book because it's like, it's, it's something about the grip that, you know, that I'm definitely gonna, sh that, that I, I, as I express, I'm gonna show you the, the value of just gripping the club is, it, it can hurt you more than it can help you. So, what am I doing? Well, as I said, I'm writing my book and my main book, this big book, you know, and, and I'm in the pro uh, edit, uh, editing the process of it now and that takes a long time. You know, my wife is my editor, but you know, she's busy, so she can only get to it when she can. But you know, I'm still doing my work, aligning everything like it needs to be. But that book is gonna provide a lot of information. And I mean, it's gonna answer questions and it's gonna give you ideas of what it is. But what is that book? The book I'm writing is called uh, The Shade Tree Pro <coughs> Golf Philosophy and the Five Phases. Now, what the five phases is, Five phases is a way of me breaking the body down that just kind of like you would learn in martial arts, that any in every individual section has particular actions that makes, makes the whole sequence come together. Now, the way my five phases work in the sense that there's one mental picture and then there's four physical actions, four in each section or whatever that causes the body to react in a certain way. So when I set up to the ball, or I go try to learn or about my golf swing, now I'm breaking it up like you learn in psychology. You learn how to break it up in sections and get a better understanding of what those actions are. And as I did that, man, I come to understand that there are things that are so simple that we overlook. Look, I'm a big, uh, I, I've said it many times before, I'm not big on the hips, but that's not to say that the hips doesn't have a role to play in the golf swing. My philosophy has always been top down and, and, I, and I'll stand by the top down because the actions of the body is pushed from the top down towards the ground and there's a reason for it. I discussed this all in my book and you know, and I have to say, I, I, I've done some good work. So that's where I've been away, um, you know, not been lazy and not doing anything. You know, I'm a workaholic and I'm always looking there. I've been building these little training aids. I've got one training aid that I'm working on is called uh, the X Factor Alignments, and another one I'm working on, it, it is called the Transition Guide, and it teaches you how to feel transition, and that means it, and it's a physical feel of it. The X Factor Alignment teaches you how to line your line up properly to the golf club, and and you will be surprised in the sense that a lot of us don't know that there is a proper way to line to the golf club, not line up to the ball, but line up to the golf club. So. My, my training aides will talk about all of that, you know. So I, I'm, just, I'm just really busy just getting everything in order. But let's get back a little bit to me talking about my, my, my phases. Now I had, I had wrote about these many years ago to where, you know, how those phases in a sense is a part of what I said, my setup of the three bodies, upper body, middle body, lower body, for you to set up properly to a golf ball. Uh, and if you can't set up properly to a golf ball, you defeat the whole purpose of creating a golf swing. But back to my about my phases. See, what I always wanted to do, I wanted to write a golf book. You know, that was always been my goal, that I wanted to write that golf book. Let's not say the golf book, but that golf book that other sports like baseball, hockey, whatever it is, that they would look to golf as the instructional information to better understand the actions and movements of their own sports. Now, it, you know, because a lot of the other sports that we play, we naturally react to it. Golf in its same self is similar, 
we do naturally act to it, but you know, with all the information's out there, you know, the brain gets clustered and confused and we're all over the place. But I set it up and I broke it down, what I call it, from science to stupid. In other words, I break it down that you understand the science and as it starts progressing itself down, it gets down to the simple things that I do, which is part of my setup, ball location, setup, grip, takeaway, swing, the five things that I do. It's like ball location, I create my setup, I get my grip, I take it away, and I swing. But in those five phases, like I just sat there, this made that look like a simple swing. But what my five phases, as I said, is kind of like writing a martial arts manual. You know, you become a master and you feel like you've mastered it in a sense, then you've got to put your information on print or whatever, you know, because to say there's a saying that goes or whatever, anything you do for yourself, you take with you. Anything you do for others, you leave behind. And the greatest martial artists of all times, I've been watching a lot of martial art movies, they always leave their information behind or they add to the information that's there. So what I'm doing is I'm trying to provide information that will make golfers better, faster, and, and have a better understanding of what it is they're doing. Now, these actions that I talk about in, in my five phases, I mean, they equate to putting, chipping, bunker play. It doesn't matter because at, at the end of the day, movements are movements and actions are actions. So, one of the things that I will say, and you know, and I, and I use different words. Now, one of the main things main things that I talk about in in my golf uh, book or that I that I'm I want to say it I, I like people to be informed one of the things when we're looking at the human body and we're dealing in the golf swing the biggest thing is like anatomy and everything we're always only looking at the front side but we never really really focus on what's going on back here so all our muscles all the strong muscles and everything is on our posterior side but we don't really focus towards there. We're always focused to what, 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 he, what we see. And the thing is, it's like, you know, we learn in a sense, yes, to some degree what we see, but we still have to understand the things that we feel. And sometimes the feelings that we have, we can't see, we have to get a better understanding. In my book, I talk about, you know, how to turn feel into real. And that's one of the main things that we, you have to be able to turn feel into real. So I got, you know, uh, some, some nice quotes. You know, I've, I've, I've listened to, you know, people like uh, uh, um, Earl Nightingale. I've listened to people like Les, uh, Les Brown, Napoleon Hill. I mean, different people that I've listened to understand motivating, understand about success. Uh, Earl Nightingale talks about success being the uh, progressive re uh, pursuit of a worthy goal. See, I started out with a goal of wanting to write a great book. And I think that my uh, five-phase book or whatever is going to be the book that, that, as I said before previously, is that allows golfers, a golfer, and other people in other sports to look to a golf book as instructional information to make them better in their sports. No different than someone learning how to shoot a basketball, understanding certain things. I talk about something that's so unique with the wrist that it came to me, one of those serendipitous type of moments that it was just like out of the blue, I couldn't believe it. So, and all my Spanish speaking people out there too, I want you to understand is that even with, and I forgot to mention this earlier, but with my golf, uh, um, golf grip for, grip for success book, I'm actually having it for printed in Spanish. So the simple thing is, as I'm saying, is that, you know, when you're learning or trying to understand how to make a golf swing, you have to break it up in areas and sections in a sense, and it's much easier than to just get up here and try to swing and try to make it. Like I said, I break it down into what I call, again, the five phases, one mental, because before you make any golf swing, you must see exactly what it is you're doing before you do it. And then once you visualize what it is you're doing, whether it's your shot, whether it's your motion or whatever, that visualization will trigger the absolute first move. Now in my golf swing or in my philosophy, I have what they call the absolute first, first move, as I call it the first move. And it will work for you as well because it's moves that's triggered by our anatomy, not by just our thoughts. See it, believe it, and trust it. So I got my move, I know what it is, trigger it, and I go. Oops. 
So I'm going to talk more about my book as, as I progress. As I pull you all under the shade tree, I'm, I'm going to start letting it loose. It's time for me to get that, 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 that Charles flow back out to let you all understand what I'm doing. You know, I, I, I just turned uh, 55 and I, you know, was it Sammy Hagar who wrote, you know, I can't drive 55? Well, I can't either because I got to speed up on past 55. Hey, this is Charles Calhoun, a.k.a. The Shade Tree Pro. Hey, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Like I said, I'm in the process of trying to sell 10,000. Listen again. I'm trying to sell 10,000 of my Golf Grip for Success book. And if you want to buy the Golf Setup for Success, go ahead and make that as well because there's some things I'm going to show you about the Golf Grip that will blow your mind. Charles Calhoun, a.k.a. The Shade Tree Pro, and always good golfing.